Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Jazzle workout. This is a strength training based workout. I need you to have a variety of dumbbells. As reference, I'll always tell you what I'm going to use, but just know you might need to adjust, right? Only you know. Uh, today is fun because we have five sets of four exercises. So like, you know, set one, set two, set three, set four, set five. There are four exercises in those five blocks. And we're going to be on those exercises for 45 seconds. And then we have 15 seconds only in between. And each of those four exercises, we're going to repeat twice through. And then you'll never see it again. Move on to section two, three, four, five, right? Um, once I figure out technology, I'll get a timer up on the screen. But until then, you just got to hear me. You can see I have a variety of dumbbells, right? I'll try to make transitions kind of clean so that you won't have to keep changing your dumbbells. So in this first section, we'll be using, I'll be using 15s, maybe you have a 12, whatever, but you'll be hanging on to those 15s for that first section. We're just gonna get started here with a nice two minute warm up just to get the body ready for what's coming. So go ahead, clear your space, clear your mind. And let's just step tap and sweep the arm across. Just stretching out the lat, stretching out the shoulder, step tap and reach, right? Nothing fancy, just some Jane Fonda. And now reach over the head, good, and pull down. Over the head, pull down, over the head, pull down. You got it, good. And really bend those knees, get the joints nice and warm, and then reach across again. Yep, just pull across, nice. Beautiful, guys. And then reach overhead again. Beautiful. Awesome. And now land in that plie squat. Take your hands on the insides of your thighs and just rock opposite shoulder towards that opposite knee, sitting a little bit lower, getting the inner thighs nice and warm. Yep. Let's do two more. And one, beautiful, now turn your toes forward and just reach in the little side lunge, opposite hand to the inside of the opposite foot. Good, just some dynamic functional stretching, guys, just to get things warm before we pick up those weights. About a two to three minute warm up. Beautiful. Awesome, and now land on one side, any side doesn't matter. And just stretch out the inner thigh. You could put your hands on the floor. See what feels good. Point and flex the foot. And then head over to the other side. Same thing, inner thigh. Point, flex the foot. Awesome. Toes turn straight ahead. Place your hands on the backs of your legs and then just bend the knees, look up. Straighten and stretch. Bend the knees, look up, push the feet down into the ground, straighten and stretch. Good, good. Just getting everything moving, guys. Let's go two more here. Last one. And then roll it up. Place your fingertips on the tops of your shoulders and just do a little torso twist. Just a little finisher. Before we pick up those heavy dumbbells, again, I'm gonna use 15s on this first set. Maybe you use 12s, maybe you use 10s. I am not sure. Whatever you deem as heavy, it's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Four exercises, two times through, we've got five sections. Let's go 10 more seconds of these little torso twists. Nice, last eight. Good guys, you got four. Three, two, one, awesome, let's get started. So I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit. <clears throat> All right, first exercise, guys. Grab your heavier dumbbells. It's a side lunge, row, pick up, drop. So with these dumbbells, I'll always show you really quick within that 15 seconds what's coming, okay? You just do your best at that. But you're gonna side lunge, put the weight down. Side lunge, put the weight down. Side lunge, pick it up, row. Side lunge, pick it up, row, right? Side to side. Follow along as best as you can, starting with the weights on the ground. Ready, three, two, let's go. 
So side lunge, sit the weight back, row it up. Like you're trying to jab someone behind you. Yep, side lunge, put it down. Side lunge, put it down. Feet are wide, toes are forward, right? Jab as you pick the weight up. Really sit into a deep lunge as you put it down. Find a pace that works for you, right? Good, let's go 15 more seconds here. Again, once I figure out technology, we'll have an interval clock on the screen for you all. Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, recover. You got 15 seconds, we're doing this again, right? Yeah, right now, you're not really needing the recovery, but pretty soon, definitely you're gonna need the recovery. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Really sit the weight back as you put the weights down, right? Sitting into a side lunge, working upper body and lower. Get up. Okay, let's go for 10. Nice. Last five, four, three, two, 15 seconds recover. Awesome job, guys. Good. Second exercise is a one legged floater deadlift. Okay, we'll do 45 seconds on each leg. So left foot forward, right toes back, weights in the hand, ready, three, two, let's do it. So if floating the leg is too much, you don't have to float, right? And look, my balance is crazy. Back is flat, shoulder heads are back, there's a slight bend in your left knee. Good, if floating the leg is too much, keep the right toes down, like a little kickstand. Really turn that right hip down towards the ground. Good, as you float the right leg up. Amazing. Ooh, balance, hello. Let's go for 10. Little bit of that left knee the whole time, right? Last five, four, ooh, balance, three, two, switch. Good, so now the right leg is forward, left toes back. Again, if floating is too much, don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you a side view with this side. Ready, three, two, let's do it. So floating down with a flat back, float up top. So back is flat. You can see that slight bend in my right knee. Good, balance on this side is much better for me. Really squeezing through the back side of the right leg as you lift up. Yes. Good. Good. Since this is just a one-sided exercise, we aren't repeating it twice, right? It's like we did it twice because we had to do both sides. Good. You guys got five seconds. We're going to be on our backs. Keep these weights in four, three, Two, awesome. So on your back, it's a chest fly dead bug. So getting some abs, getting some chest, okay? Chest fly, slight bend in the knees. One leg is gonna tap down to the ground at a time. Ready, three, two. So one heel taps down to the ground. As you go for the chest fly, bring the hands together, other. Yeah, so try to keep the 90 degree angle in the tapping leg. Keep the low back pushed into the ground. Yes. Amazing. Good. Slight bend in those elbows. Like you're doing a little hug a tree action. Yeah. 15 seconds. You got that recovery, then we'll do this again. Last 10. Good. Ribs in, abs tight, that's it. Last five, four, three, two, recover. Second set of what we just did, guys. Keep the same weights if you can, ready? Knees 90 degrees in three, 
two, let's go. Tuck one heel down to the ground as the weights go out to the side. Squeeze to the chest, other leg. Nice. Don't mind me, I'm just looking at my timer. Good, 20 seconds. We're in our second section of exercises. Good, everybody. And every week we do this, it'll switch with the intervals, right? Sometimes we'll do 30 second intervals, we'll do three times through, okay? So we're always gonna switch it up. You got five, four, three, two, stand it up. Okay, next section of exercises. I'm going to be using eight pound weights. Okay, you're going to put your feet behind you. And we're going to go right into some mountain climbers. I'm not using weights for this one. This is just abs, right? So opposite right knee to left elbow mountain climbers in three. Two, let's go right knee, left elbow, add a push up in the center. Left knee, left elbow, push up. Good. Right knee, right elbow, push up. Left knee, left elbow, push up. The push up's too crazy on the toes, come down to the knees. Yes. Good guys, 15 seconds. Again, opposite knee, opposite elbow, push up. Opposite knee, opposite elbow, push up. Recover in five, four, three, two, recover. Woo, out of breath. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Again, if you need to do the push ups on the knees, do them on the knees, right? Ready, second set. In three, <coughs> two, Let's go. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Push up. Lead with the chest as you go for that push up. Awesome. 20 seconds. Then we'll grab an eight pounder. If you have a ledge or some sort of ottoman or couch, we're going to put one foot up there on your back with the eight pounders in three, two, let's do it. So if you have a ledge or an ottoman, we're going to do a one-legged bridge. Since this is a one-legged exercise, we're only repeating this once, right? Right foot up on your ledge, left leg up to the sky. Ready? Three. Two, let's go. Squeeze, slowly release it. Up, squeeze, slowly release. Up, squeeze, slowly release. You got it. Up, squeeze, slowly release. You can see I have my eight pounders right on my hips. Good. My foot that's on the ottoman is flexed. My other leg is up. But if the other leg needs to be crossed over, Go for it. Awesome. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Release that other side. Recovery for 10 more seconds. Good guys, get ready in five, four, three, two. Left foot down, right foot up, up squeeze, lower. Up squeeze, lower. Up, squeeze, lower. Good, we're gonna use this ottoman or couch or whatever you're using right now. We're gonna keep the eight pounds, we're gonna stand up. Good, we're gonna do like a narrow, wide squat with a shoulder press, you'll see. In 15. Nice, really squeeze that left glute at the top. Let's go for 10. Stand up with these eight pounders, guys. You might even want to go lighter. In five, four, three, two, stand it up. 
You got 15 seconds to recover. Good, with these eight pounders, your feet are gonna be together. You're gonna squat all the way down your ottoman, stand up, press, squat down, spread, press, right? So you're just alternating. A wide, narrow squat with the press at the top. In three, two, let's go narrow. Press all the way down, open the feet really wide, press. Good, press, press. Getting a little bit faster here. Heart rate up. The lower your ottoman or couch is, the better. 20 seconds. I'm just doing a normal shoulder press. Palms face each other. Let's go for 10. A little faster at the end. Let's go for five, four, three, two, Recover. <clears throat> awesome job. One more time with this one. Ready? In four, three, two, let's go. Narrow press, squat wide. Press. Feet together narrow. Press. Feet together wide. Press. Good. Try to get a little faster with this one. Eight pounders in my hands. Yes. 25 seconds, we're moving on to section three. For that section, I'm gonna go a little heavier with some 10 pounders. Awesome, 15. You got it. Last 10. Good, last five, four, three, Two, awesome. Grab some 10 pounders. Just one. We're gonna do a plank pass through. So in a plank position, you'll be passing this weight. Okay. Fall along as best as you can, feet wide, ready. Three, two, one. So you're gonna take the weight all the way over to the right, take the left hand, thread it through, all the way over to the left. You got it. Right hand, all the way over to the right, left hand. Thread it through to the left, yeah. Just keep your hips still. Keep your hips still. Feet are wide to make it easier. Feet together make it harder. Woo, hello. Yeah, and you're just kind of grabbing that weight. Take it all the way over to the side, make it harder to grab the weight. Harder to keep the hips still. Good, let's go 10. Last five, four, Three, two, recover 15 seconds. Ooh, second set coming up. Take a big deep breath. Cardio is gonna go up, guys, because you're working multiple muscle groups at the same time, right? In three, two, grab that weight, pass it all the way over to the other side. All the way over, hips still. Shoulders above the wrists. Nice. Pull the belly button up and in. Feet together harder, feet apart easier. Let's go. Or other way around, that didn't make any sense. Feet apart easier, feet together harder. Yeah, you know what I mean. 15 seconds. Nice, we're gonna stand up with two 10 pound dumbbells. Grab that ottoman again. We've got a one-sided exercise. Remember with those one-siders, we just stay with one set, right? Three, two, pick up both weights. So you're gonna treat the ledge as a little up for your back leg, right? You do a split lunge, left foot forward, right toes back up on your ledge, weights at your sides, ready? Three, two, let's go down, hammer curl at the top. Good, step that left foot out so that your knee is over your ankle. So it's down, Press hammer. Down 90 90. Hammer curl. Good. You got it. Again, with these one sided exercises, we are doing them twice, just one time. So get it well taught. 10 seconds, we recover before the other side. Five. Four, 
three, two, recover. Good, left toes are back on your ottoman, right foot is forward, knee over ankle, ready, three, two, let's go, down, hammer at the top, hammer at the top, good, adjust your feet as needed, right, you want that right knee over that ankle. Good, we've got a little row, bicep, reverse grip, shoulder press coming up next. Keep these 10 pounders. <sighs> Give me 15 more seconds of this. Sit low into that right leg. Nice, last 10. <sighs> Good, last five, four, three, two, recover. So next move little combo, you're going to go wide row, narrow row, bicep curl, reverse shoulder press with the palms facing, okay? Ready, three, two, I'll scoot back so you can see me, let's go. So, wide row, narrow row, palms up, stand up, bicep curl, palms face, shoulder press, good. Again, wide, narrow, Palms face, stand up, bicep, palms face, shoulder. Good. Wide, you got it. Narrow. Bicep, palms face you, shoulder press. Good, bend over. Wide. Narrow, yes, palms face. Good. You guys got five. Four, three, two, recover. Woo, recover. Second set, I'm gonna do from the side so you see me. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Wide row, narrow row. Stand up bicep, reverse grip shoulder. Good. Wide, narrow. I could have gone a little heavier than these tens, but that's okay. You got it. Wide, narrow, bicep, reverse grip shoulder. 20 seconds, good team. We're gonna keep these 10 pounders for our fourth section. In five, we've got an Arnold press. I might even need to go eight, who knows? Three, two, recover. So Arnold press is like a little chest press shoulder press, chest press, shoulder press, just like that. I'm gonna go eight pounds because that's not gonna work with 10. Ready, three, standing up a little bit in the knees, two, let's go. Elbows kiss, press, kiss, press. Now the palms are facing out, right, on that shoulder press. A little bit in the knees, protect the low back. Yes. Fifteen seconds. You got it. Shoulder, shoulder. Plus ten. Five, four, three, two, recover. Oh, yeah, the eights are good for me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Heart rate's up, that's normal. I'm out of breath, right? Hello. Ready, guys? Second set of that. In four, three, two, let's go. Palms face out, kiss the elbows, press. Kiss, press. If the pace is too fast, slow it down. 30 seconds. We've got our one-sided exercise that we just do once, right? I'm gonna re-grab the 10 pounders. It's a curtsy lunge with an upright row. In 15, I'm gonna grab my 10s. Good guys. Last five, four, three, two, grab those 10s. 
Good, left foot forward, like so, right toes cross back behind on the diagonal. You're gonna go curtsy lunge, palms face you, upright row combo, okay? Ready, in four, three, crisscross, two, let's go. So down into the curtsy, upright row. Down, upright, pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Good, palms face you for that upright row, elbows high, and shoulders at the top. You got it. Left toes are still pointed straight ahead to 12 o'clock. Let's go 10 seconds and we'll switch to the other side. Five, four, Three, two, recover, and switch. Right foot over to the left, left foot over to the right. Good. Big deep breath here. Ready, three, two, let's go. And we're on our backs after this one. Good, chest press, leg drop. Chest press, crunch, leg drop, excuse me. Keep these tenors. Good guys, shoulders away from the ears as the elbows go up. 15 seconds, you're on your backs. Nice and 10. Chest press, crunch, leg drop, five, four, Three, two, on your back. So, looks like this. You're gonna chest press, crunch, lower the legs down, lift the legs up. Chest press, crunch, head down, lower down, lift up. Ready, in three, two, let's go. Chest press, crunch, head down, then lower those legs down, lift the legs up. Good, chest press, crunch, lower. When I'm doing a low ab leg lift, my head is down. Low back pushes into the ground, right? And I'm not lowering all the way down, I'm lowering just to the point where right before my low back peels off the floor. 10 seconds, we recover. Good, in five. Four, three, two, recover. Ooh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. We do that again. In five, four, 90 degree elbows, right? Three, two, crunch, weight to toes, head down, leg down. Amazing guys, you got it. 20 seconds. We're in our fourth, or sorry, our fifth section. And I failed to mention that then we repeat all of these sections again. So you're really gonna know these exercises. You think we were just gonna stop right there? Come on, last five, four, three, two, recover. Woo. Grab 12s, guys, for this next section. Grab 12s, you've got a squat halo with one 12 pounder, maybe even a 15 pounder, let's see. In three, two, just follow with me. You're gonna squat halo with the elbows bent at 90, right? So squat, it's like I'm making a halo over my head. Squat, halo. I'll do it from the other side, squat. Halo. So we're getting some uh, triceps too in that halo. Squat, 90 elbows, halo over the head. Good. I'm using a 15. I recommend a 12. Let's go 10 seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, 
to recover. Ooh, I wish you could move this on and on. I can. You'll be able to see me better. Whew. All right, guys, second set. Ready, feet wide, toes apart, or toes straight ahead in three, two, let's go. Squat, make a halo. Squat, halo. Squat, halo. Triceps, shoulders, good. Let's go 20 seconds. Keep this 15 pound or grab a 12. We've got a squat, clean press. It's our one-sided exercise, so right? Good. In five, putting the 12 pounder in your right hand. In four, three, two, let's go. So grab that 12-er. I'm gonna face you. It's like the weight goes over to the left hand. Thrust and then you take the hand overhead, okay? I'll show you from the side. Weight in the right, left hand out in three, two, squat, thrust. Squat, right hand to left foot, thrust up. Squat, thrust the hips to shoulder press. Squat, thrust the hips to shoulder press. Yes. So you want that weight to be heavy, good for the shoulder, but for the legs supporting you on it. 15 seconds, we switch on your side. Good. That's five, four, three, two, recover. So the palm is facing me, right? Looks like this. Okay, ready? Right hand out, weight in the left hand, feet wide. Woo, I'm out of breath. In three, two, let's go. Squat, clean press. So it's kind of like one movement, okay? The thrust and the weird shoulder press are like one smooth motion. 30 seconds. You got it. On our backs in 15. Last exercise of our five sections. We'll go through all of this over again, guys. Ready? Keep this 12 pounder in three, two, on your back. So all we've got here, guys, is one 12 pound weight. You're gonna crunch elbows to knees, head down, arm, goes overhead. That's it. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Crunch, elbows to knees, head down, legs out. Good. So you're trying to bring the weight to the toes maybe. Legs out, hand overhead. Good, 15 seconds. We're gonna take a 30 second recovery before we start from the very beginning. You could even stop the workout here and you got about a 30 minute workout. It's awesome too. In three, two, recover. I think we did that twice. Yeah, great. All right guys, remember 15 pounds we start with that side lunge, weight drop row. Woo! I know, we gotta rewind. Again, if you stop your workout now, you got a 30 minute workout, good for you. Right, otherwise feet are wide, starting with our 15 pounders. In three, two, side lunge, drop the weight. Side lunge, drop the weight. Side lunge, pick it up and row. Pick it up and row. Good. Yeah, catch your breath. It's a lot of cardio. Yeah. 15 seconds, you recover. Good. 
And we've got our one-sided exercise, right? Good. In five, four, three, two, recover. Or not yet, but you know what I mean. Getting ahead of myself. Second set of that row. Ooh, hello, timer. In five. In four. Ready? Three. Two. Let's go. Pick up. Row. Pick up. Row. Put down. Put down. Yes. Good. Feet are very wide. You're really sitting back into that side lunge. Alternating here. It's like you're jabbing someone behind you as you grab the weight and row. Woo, like that. 15 seconds. We recover. We've got that one-legged float deadlift, remember? When we do those one-sided exercises, we just go once. In four, three, Two, keep the 15s. Left foot forward, right toes back. Again, you can have your right foot on the ground the whole time, or you could float it as you go for that one legged deadlift. In three, two, let's go. Float, back is flat, lift. Hello, balance, don't judge me, right? Just keep a soft bend in that working leg. Yes. Ooh. One point in front of you to focus on. 20 seconds, we switch legs. Nice. It's okay if you're a little wobbly. Four. Three, two, relax. Other side. Right foot forward, left toes out on a kickstand or you float. Palms are facing in towards your body. In three, two, let's go. Ooh, hello. Okay. We're on our backs next with these weights for a chest fly alternating dead bug. Good. Really push that foot that's on the ground down into the ground as you lift the chest up. Ooh, that's the trick for the hamstring. Nice. 15 seconds, you recover. Keep these weights on your back. Chest fly with an alternating bed bug drop. In four, three, two, let's do it. I'm going to face you this time. Or no, I'm going to face away so you can see my legs. 90 degree legs, chest fly, leg drop in three, two, let's go. So one leg drops as the arms go out, the other leg, yes. Making sure that you're bringing, I'm not doing it right now, but make sure you bring your knees right over your hips, right? And keep the shape of the leg that's dropping. So we're not straightening it out. We're pushing the low back into the ground. Weights go over your chest, not your throat, right? Awesome, I'm just looking at my timer. Good, you guys got 10. Beautiful, last five, four, three, to recover. Recover. Second set. In four, three, two, let's go. Drop one leg, open the arms. Drop the other. So no weights for this next one. You're gonna flip over into a plank. It's opposite knee to opposite elbow, mountain climber push-up, right? Remember, if you need to do the push-up on your knees, totally fine. Just have your eight pound weights 
ready to go. You guys got 10 more seconds here. Nice, last five, four, three, two, flip it over. Good. Get your eight pounds close to you because you need a map in this one. Remember, it's that plank position, opposite knee, opposite elbow, push up. In three, hands wide, two, let's go. Right knee, left elbow, push up. Left knee, right elbow, push up. This one kills me. <laughs> Don't know about you. 30 seconds, recover. Fifteen. Good, everybody. Five, four, three, two, recover. Oh my gosh, crazy. Out of all of them, that one just killed me. Okay, second set, ready, three. Last set, two, let's go. Then we'll be on our back. You'll grab that ledge and your eight pound weights for that one-legged bridge. Again, if you need to do the push-ups on the knees, like so, do it. And then come back up for the mountain. Right knee down. No problem. Good, 15 seconds, eight pound weight on your back, ledge your couch, one-legged bridge. In five, four, three, two, grab those weights. Good, so let's put our right foot up on your ledge. Your butt is not too close to the ledge, not too far away. Whew. Ready. Left leg can do whatever it needs to do in three, two, let's go. So press up with that right leg lower down. Press up, squeeze the butt, lower. Press up, squeeze, lower. I'm just floating my left leg up like so. Weights are on my hip bones. And I'm squeezing my butt and my hamstring on the right side as I lift up. I'm not too close to my couch, but I'm not too far away. So if you were looking at me, which I guess you are from the side, I've got a 90 degree angle with my right leg. Good, in five, we switch. Four, three, two, recover. Switch. Breathe. Weights on five. Ready, five, four, three, two, up, squeeze, lower, up, squeeze, lower, you got it. We'll be standing up using our couch for that alternating narrow squat to wide squat with a press at the top, so keep your eight pounders, or maybe you're lighter, I don't know, like I said, play with your weights. Second time through gets hard, right? So you might even have to go lighter than that first time through. Or maybe you were like, that wasn't enough the first time through, so I need to go heavier. Good. Let's stand this up in five, four, three, two, recover. I'm on the edge of my ledge. <laughs> edge of ledge. Feet together, you'll squat to sit down, but don't get too comfy. You ready? Three, two, squat, narrow, stand, press. Squat, feet wide, press. Good. My palms are facing in on the press, okay? Try to pick up your pace with this one. And if your ledge is like lower than mine, that's awesome because then so are your squats, right? but we don't want your ledge so low that you like bust out your knees. No. Good, 15 seconds. Two, 
10, five, four, three, two, recover. Whew, it's the heart rate with that one, right? Oh my goodness. Oh boy, ready? Last set. In three, two, let's go. We need a 10 pound weight next. Plank position, we've got those plank pass-throughs. This is your third section out of five. Second time through, whoa. Again, the intervals are always gonna change because we need variety. You do too, I do, right? And you can always split up the workout and just do the first section, that's fine. Good. Five, four, three, two, recover. Put those eights down, grab your 10. That plank has to, remember you really wanna take the weight all the way over the sides, but you really have to use your abs and your shoulder to grab the weight. In three, two, let's go. Plank, pass the weight over to the left. Take your left hand, thread it through, over to the left. Right hand, thread it through, over to the right. Good. It's not really about the weight being heavy. It's about your hips staying still. Feet together harder, feet apart easier. 20 seconds, recover. Ten, five, good, four, three, two, recover. One more time with that one, and we got our one-sided move in this level. It's that um, split squat with that hammer curl. You'll grab the match to your 10 pound, right? Not yet though, we got those plank pass-throughs in three, two, let's go. Hips still. Shoulders over wrists. You can always do some version of this on your knees. 30 seconds, both weights in the hands, grab your ledge or your ottoman or your couch. Make sure it's always stable. I don't need to tell you that. Left foot forward, right toes back on the ledge, both weights in hands, you've got a split lunge Hammer curl. In five, four, three, two, awesome. Good, quickly stand up. Left foot forward, right tippy toes back on your ledge. Ready, it's a split lunge, hammer curl, palms face each other in three, two, you go down, hammer at the top. Good, you might need to adjust your feet. You just wanna make sure that your left knee is over your ankle. Oh, feels like we've been running even though we haven't. Good. Try not to lock the left knee out at the top. 15 seconds. Good guys. In five, four, three, two, switch feet, recover. Right foot forward, left toes back on your ledge. Whoa, where's my ledge? Ready, four, three, two, let's go, down, hammer. Down, hammer. Let me sink into that front right leg a lot. Knee over ankle. Keep both weights. We've got that wide, narrow row, bicep curl, reverse grip, shoulder press situation. Maybe you need to even lighten up your weights. That's fine. 
In five. First, you got that recovery. In four, three, two, recover. Woo! So again, it's the wide row, narrow, bicep curl, stand up, reverse grip, shoulder press, okay? Ready? Oh, why is my hair down? I don't know. Three, two, let's go. Wide, narrow, flip the grip, bicep, shoulder press. Bend over, wide row, narrow. Ten seconds. Careful with that shoulder press at the top, guys. You don't want to arch that low back, right? Work the abs. Three, two, recover. Whew. Good deep breath. Ready? <clears throat> In three. I know I'm always losing my voice. I just got over being sick. So forgive me if I sound weird. Two, let's go. Wide row, narrow, bicep, reverse grip, shoulder press. What's a reverse grip? It means palms are facing you. Palms face up to the bicep, right? Good, you got five, four, three, two. Awesome job, guys. So I'm gonna grab my eight pounds for the Arnold press, right? It's elbows kiss, press, elbows kiss, press, okay? Ready, standing up or sitting down if you need to, I get it. In three, two, let's go. Kiss the elbows, palms face out, press. Kiss, press, elbows, press. Kiss and press. Lots of shoulders here. Do your best. Fifteen seconds. Last ten. So getting heavy. Five, four, three, two, drop. I'm going to go to my five pounds for my last set because you saw my form on that set. Thanks. Whoa. Then we got that one sided curtsy with the upright row. You'll re grab your eights or actually your tens if you can, right? Ready? Last set of Arnold press. Two, bend the knees. Let's go. Kiss, open, press. Much better with these fives. You got it. Thirty seconds. Eight pounds or ten pounds if you can. One sided curtsy lunge upright row. In fifteen. I'm gonna grab my tens. It's really whatever you upright row with, right? In five. Four, three, two, recover. Okay, so left foot over to the right, right foot over to the left, little crisscross applesauce. You're gonna come down into that curtsy, upright row with your palms in towards you at the top. Three, two, let's go. So down, curtsy, zip the jacket up. Down, zip the jacket up. I don't know why this reminds me of zipping of a jacket, but it does. Shoulders stay down as the elbows go up. We're almost done, guys. 20 seconds, you switch. Legs. Good. In 
five, four, three, two, recover and switch. Right foot to the left, left foot to the right, square the hips. Then we'll be on our backs with these weights. Big deep breath in three, two, let's go. Curtsy, upright. Curtsy, upright. Thirty seconds. You've got the chest press, crunch weight to toes, head down, leg drop. Right. So keep these tens. Fifteen seconds here. We recover. Five, four. Three, two, awesome. So keep the tens. First, you do a chest press to crunch the weight to the toes, and your head comes down and your legs drop. Okay? In three, two, 90 degree elbows. Let's go. Crunch up, weight touches the toes, elbows 90 on the ground, legs down. Don't rush that. Legs up. See, I have a slight bend in my knees, right, as I lower the legs down. Yes. If you need to bend the knees more, please do. If you're working with some low back concerns, please. Ribs in, abs tight as you go for the low ab leg lift. 10 seconds, we recover. Five, four, Three, two, recover. Woo. <sighs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating a lot. Ready? Let's do that again. In three, two, hit it. Crunch weight to toes, head down, leg drop. Exhale as you crunch the weight to the toes. And try to slow it down on that leg drop part, right? No momentum, just abs. 15 seconds, we recover. You're in your last section, guys, hello. See how you can do this workout just one time through for 30 minutes, two times for 60. Whoa. Three, two, recover. Because sometimes 30 minutes is really all you can do, right? And it's all you really should do. Let's grab that 15 pound or that 12 pound. You've got that halo in three, two, 90 degree elbows. Down, make a halo over your head. Down squat. Hey low. Down squat. Hey low. So my elbows stay at 90 and I am really drawing a little halo over my head. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to stay down like this, right? Okay. 15 seconds, recover. Abs tight as you draw the halo. Five. Four, three, two, recover. Whew. Recover. Ooh, shake it out. Lots of shoulders and triceps, right? Three, two, let's go. Squat, draw the halo. Elbows are 90 degrees. We are not straightening the arms. That is scary. And we've got that one-sided clean and press. I'm gonna go to a 12. Remember the clean press is not necessarily a shoulder press. It's like your legs are initiating the shoulder press. If you feel like it's your shoulders, then we gotta use more drive from the hips. 
from the legs, okay? So maybe even go lighter on the weights, but you get the motion. Recover in four, three, two, recover. Also, if you see a patch on my stomach, <laughs> it's an allergy patch. <laughs> Just saying, it's not a mic. I'm not that fancy. Okay, weight in the right hand, left hand out. Ready, three, end up the wrong weight. Two, let's go. Squat, thrust to press. You flip the grip as you press. So it goes from here to out, right? And you're kind of swinging the hips at least. Not even my shoulder that's feeling this. It's my legs, my hips, my abs. 15 seconds on this side. 10. Good. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Recover. Ugh. Recover. Other side. And then we got one more exercise left of this workout. Whoop, whoop. Ready? Three. Right hand out, left hand has the weight. Two. Let's go. Down, thrust clean. Of course, my computer battery is running out. So is my body battery, right? <laughs> 30 seconds. Keep this weight. Meet me on your back. Final exercise. We got that ball crunch. Keep this 12 pounder. 15 seconds. Can you swing your hips? Or not swing your hips. Can you thrust your hips a little bit more? Let's go. Power. 10. On your back. In five, four, three, two, on your back. Whoo, grab the heads of the dumbbell. Let's do it, guys. You're going to crunch here, head down, arms out. Ready? Oh, 90 seconds left of your workout. In three, two, let's go. Crunch up, everything up, head down, arms overhead, legs out. Of course, my head is on the floor and it hurts, right? Okay. If you need to skip the dumbbell, I get it. Okay, let's go 20 seconds. You can see I have a little bit in my elbows. My arms are not dead straight. 10. Last five, four, good, three, two, recover. Last time, guys, last time. Ready, eight, this is it for your workout in six, five, four, three, two, last time, crunch. Head down, legs out, arms out. Nice and controlled. Let's go. Less than 30 seconds. I am not going to lead you through a stretch, okay? Because that is your time. So please stretch at home. Last 10 guys. Last five, four, three, two. Amazing work. Good job with your Jazzle workout. If I didn't properly explain in the beginning, we're always going to switch it up. Okay, I'll always tell you what you need. Today we did five sections of four exercises. Two of those exercises were one-sided. We, we went through each exercise twice through, except for the one-sided ones, right? So we went through the whole five sections, and then we did it again, okay? Again, you could split this up into one time through for 30 minutes or two times for about 50, 55 minutes. Amazing job, guys. Don't forget to stretch. See you soon.